Welcome to my channel, Planning with Maserati. We are going to be doing the daily scripture writing for day 14. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that off. Starting in March, like I was saying, I'm going to do the check marks in the squares instead of on the side. So before I begin, welcome. Please subscribe. Hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. If you could give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment and share the video. That'd be greatly appreciated. So for day 14, we're doing Exodus 33, 14. I'm not going to write with this pen right now because it's a smearing type pen. Well, it's dry there, but in the Bible, it smears. So with that being said, we're going to read, write, pray, and reflect. Exodus 33, 14. We're doing the soap study. If you choose to do it with me, scripture, observation, application, and prayer. Don't feel like you're obligated to do it. I just do it because that's what I like. But as you can see, I've been slacking myself. So there's that. We are still on enforcing you standing on the promises of God. Today's day 14. So tomorrow will be the last day for, not day two, number two, the devotional, number two, um, enforcing standing you, standing on the promises of God. It's a 10-day devotional. Sorry, I just, oh, like getting lost in words. So here we are. And I'm using the Pilot G207. It's a really good pen because of the color, like, is very, like, deep. It's not smeared here. But once I write, it's not completely dry. You have to give it a second. So it's Pilot G207. Let me see if I do it this way. It's hard to see it, I guess. There you go. And we're almost out of ink, it looks like. Or close to it. Okay, so let's read from... I'm going to change it up today. We are going to read and write from the CSB. She Reads Truth. And then we'll read from the NIV. So we have Exodus, and I'm just double checking. Yep, Exodus 33. And here is 14. See where it's smeared? It's still not completely dry in the Bible. So you just got to give it a few minutes. I'll leave it open so it doesn't like smear anymore. All right, let's read. It says, and he replied, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. Let's read it again. And he replied, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. So how is everyone doing and how is your scripture writing coming? That was supposed to be he. I was about to put he replied so close together. So that's why it looks like that. I am doing good. I am catching up on my devotionals, which I will show you in one second after we read the NIV. That way this part is done and then we can move on to the next part. I'll show you what I've done so far. Tomorrow is the day we'll be doing the last one. So that's why I'm really trying to catch up today. So that tomorrow we can do the last one together. Um, I will post this in the morning. So it's going to feel like we're doing it together. But it's really... I'll post it as much as I can in the morning. Especially the scripture writing. And then... Following that will be the devotional. I like this one. It's so short, but it's so, you know, informational. Then we'll go ahead and put observation. It's telling me to read and forcing you. Okay, so that is the She Reads Truth. I'm going to leave it open so it dries. Next is going to be, and then this one does not have that problem. 
I don't know if it's the paper or did it dry faster. I don't know. But this one doesn't have that problem with the smearing. It says, Then the Lord relented and did not bring on his people the disaster he had threatened. So that's... Did I read the wrong one? That's where you got pay attention. Well, we just read an extra one. I'm going to read now the right one. I put the promises of you. I'll wipe that out. I found my white out. I'm trying to put this back in. Today's been a struggle. I don't know why. I woke up not feeling well. Okay, so 33... 14. I was like, when I started reading that, I was like, something ain't right. 33, 14. Right here. Okay, so 33, 14 is down here. Exodus 33 and 14. I'm going to put promises of God. The same right and sloppy. Verse 14, and it's 1, 14, 23. Okay. Because today's the 14th. Yes. Okay, so here we go. The Lord replied, my presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. Let's say that one again. The Lord replied, my presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. I want to see how this mirrors on here. And I'm touching it. Nothing. So I think it's different Bible paper. Even though they fill like that rice paper, it does bleed though, to be honest with you. But it does not smear in here, which is weird. Okay, so we have that done. I still got to do this flip through. I need to make mental notes because... Me writing things down is not working. Okay, so this one's done. Let's do January 15th. So we have that. See, it bleeds in here too. And this is a thicker paper. Can you imagine being halfway done with November? I mean, January? November. Matthew 11, 28 through 29. Eleven twenty-eight through twenty-nine. Contact. You don't do my video. Well, my video don't need to know that. If you hear people running, somebody needs to use the bathroom. Okay, so that one is done. Let's go through here. So I don't know where we left off. I'm going to leave this open just so it dries as well. The other Bible didn't need that. Okay, so I don't know if I showed you this. So this is the Promises of God, Hope, five-day devotional. Six starts the new one, so I have to write it in the gray. I got to get the gray, pen, the gray pen out. And then I could do that. So 6 through 15 is going to be that. So you can see the real hope. Throw little stickers down. So we're already done with this part. I showed you this already. Day 4 and then day 5. So this is day 6, not 5. This is day 5. Where... And I used the little zig, the little dot markers. I love those things. And then I just dotted it and wrote in it. So here is day six. Enforcing you standing on the promises of God. Which I did show you this a little bit. So I wrote in gray. I used the sticker. This is day eight. This is day nine. I was like, wait a minute. Why did it stop? But this is day nine. This I did, I think, yesterday. 
because I didn't use that marker. So this one I did yesterday. Yeah. Day 10. I did this one as well. I think I did this one today. Today or yesterday? Because I'm using the purple ink. Which does not look purple when you write with it. And then they had a prayer. So this was today. I did. I just did this one too as well. January 11th. And as you can see, this color does not blend in as this color. But this is the pen I used. The Cricut Infusible Ink. Turned out to be a dark like, lavender almost. And then here. And then I just highlighted that in the big marker by Staples. It's the Hype. The red I used is the Schneider, Schneider, Schneider Express. Very good pen. I had that a long time. And then the writing I did was the Pilot G2. And this doesn't smear in here. I used the sticker from... Let's see if I can find it really quick. Oh, right here. I think it says Girls. Girl foiled. I just love these stickers. And then I just used a little washi tape from the horizontal layout. With the cupcakes. He's sneezing now. He's so noisy. So this is day 12, and now I'm finishing up day 12 so I can do 13 and 14 so we can get on to 15. So it's not taking a lot of paper, which is very crazy, but we still have plenty more to go. So if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment, share the video. That'd be greatly appreciated. As always, thank you for watching, and I will talk to you in the next video. Tomorrow we'll be doing again the scripture writing in the morning. And then the devotional right after. So it'll be like a back-to-back -back video. So again, thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Have a good night. Bye-bye.